The Dallas Stars are a serious problem for every single NHL team going into this year's playoffs. There's a number of reasons why I think the Dallas Stars are going to be competing for the Stanley Cup and why I think they'll be coming out of the West this year. So you're going to want to stick around and check that out on this episode of Hatrick HQ. But before we get into it, just got to say, if you're one of the thousands of people watching these videos that aren't subscribed to the channel and you love hockey content, NHL content here on YouTube, you found the right place to make hockey content your home on YouTube right here at Hattrick HQ but with that said let's just get right into the main topic of the video today which is the stars are a problem and yes uh, as of right now the Dallas Stars sit on top of the West second in the entire league with 109 points um, 50 wins 20 losses 9 overtime losses in 79 games played and yes this team for me has been one of the most fun teams to watch throughout this season. I found myself watching a lot of Dallas Stars games because they have so many great young talents on their team that are really stepping up and pitching in uh, with the help from their veterans as well to get this team where they are, to get this team to, you know, potentially be competing for a Stanley Cup, which I think the Dallas Stars are going to come out of the West this year. And I mean, you might think that's a bold take, but I really have the facts to back it up here, but if you look at the West, I mean, Vancouver is a problem as well. I think this is their biggest competition, in my opinion. I think Vancouver has a great squad there, but I think this Dallas Stars team just has, you know, that drive to come out of the West and get through this playoffs and get a Stanley Cup there in Dallas. I think, you know, they're going to, Vancouver's going to be an issue. Colorado, Edmonton, obviously, Vegas got a good roster there too. But there is a number of reasons, like I said, why I think that the Dallas Stars are going to come out of the West. And the first one of those is the young studs they have. And they have many of players here this year that are under 25 that has been pitching in a lot for this team. And it really shows how great they are at developing these young players down in Dallas. And the first one we're going to talk about is the one everybody knows. And that is Jacob Robertson. And obviously this guy, he's coming off a 109-point season last year. He's not hes not right there like he was last year, but he is contribu contributing really well. He doesn't need to carry the offensive slack like he did in the previous season because he has so many other players with him. And so far this season, he has 78 points uh, with 50 assists, 28 goals. Obviously, he's not a 40-goal scorer like he was the last two years. I think this year he's been focusing more on passing the puck, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, at 24 years old, this kid uh, it has such a bright future here in Dallas. And I know a lot of people are knocking him down here for, you know, not getting 40 goals, for not hitting 100 points again. But I think he's contributing when he needs to contribute this year. And like I said, he has so many other players, which I'm going to talk about in this video, that pick up the slack for Jason Robertson. And, and it's just... It seems like he's more focused on the, the pass than he is the shot this season. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's a good team, uh, a good thing. I don't think you need to have 100 points every single year to be a great player in the NHL. Jason Robertson has such high IQ. He knows where to be. He knows where to put the puck. And he knows where to find his teammates stick to create scoring chances and that what, that's what makes him such an elite forward for this Dallas Stars team and I think he's going to be the key to their success in this playoffs because I really think he's going to ramp it up here and, and be the reason why the Dallas Stars are going to come out of the West but there is another guy there who I have been really enjoying this year and that is Wyatt Johnston. This guy has been an absolute beast for this team this year at only 20 years of age his second year in the league this guy has 65 points in 79 games, 33, uh, 32 of them being goals and 33 of them being assists. That's very even production. You have, you have 32 goals, 33 assists. I mean, that just shows how all around of a player that Wyatt Johnson is. And at only 20 years old, to be leading this team in goals is phenomenal. I think this guy is the future of the NHL, the future of Dallas. And I think they have such a great young core there that this team is going to be dominant for years to come. And it all comes on the back of these young guys. And especially Wyatt Johnson, a guy who kind of broke out of his shell even last year in his first year of his career and has even exploded even further further this year in his career 
And I really love watching this guy. He's such a great center. And I think this guy is the one of the keys to Dallas, the Dallas Stars' success in the playoffs as well. I think where he's such an even production, all-around player, I think, you know, on a nightly basis, he can get you a goal. He can get you an assist. He can do things off the stat sheet as well. He's pretty solid defensively as well as a forward, in my opinion. And I'm really high on Wyatt Johnson. I love this guy. I love this Dallas team. The way that they've kind of built this young core that has just really shaped this team and put them in the position where they are right now, second in the league as I'm recording this video, it is great. And there's another guy down there, a young stud as well. And that is Logan Stankoven. And I know his numbers don't jump off the page as much as a Wyatt Johnson, as much as a Jason Robertson, but 14 points in 21 games is nothing to shake a stick at here. This kid is 21 years of age, and in just 21 games has 14 points, 6 goals, 8 assists. And ever since this guy has been called up from... Uh, the minors uh, early, earlier, I mean, well, I guess it would have been uh, uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago now when he was called up. This guy made an instant impact into this lineup at 21 years of age. And, and you go through the guys we talked about already is Robertson, Wyatt Johnson, Logan Stankov, and these guys are still in their early 20s and are producing as this much for this team. And, and I'm a big Logan Stankov guy. I think this guy is going to be something special. They have really they really have something cooking down there in Dallas with these young 20 year old guys who are producing so well that over these next few years these guys are going to be on this team growing with this team and this team is just going to keep dominating and Logan Stankov and only what was it like his first I'm just gonna bring it up again here uh it, it just 21 games into his pro career to have 14 points I can't wait to see what this guy can do over a full season in Dallas because I think this kid is something special he's creating a lot of chances every night uh, around the puck when he's out there and I love to see that but there is another guy who I'm going to talk about today and that is Thomas Harley. This may be my one of my favorite Dallas Stars players. This guy went from playing 34 games in 21-22 with 4 points to playing 76 in this season with 46 points as a defenseman. 15 goals as a defenseman as well, and 31 assists. And this guy's also really solid uh, on the defensive end for this team. He has nine power play points. He has three game-winning goals at a defense as a defenseman as well, which is crazy to think about uh, as well. But, I mean, this guy's at 22 years of age. All these guys are in their early 20s, and they're producing this well, especially Thomas Harley as a defenseman. It's kind of crazy to think about how much of an impact this guy has had on this Dallas Stars team. He kind of, you know, shapes together their, their blue line. He finalized their blue line once, you know, he came up this season and, and started playing phenomenal hockey. I think this guy has such high hockey IQ uh, in the offensive zone as a defenseman, as well as in the defensive zone as a, a defenseman, that this guy is really someone that you need to have on your radar because I think this guy is going to be something special in Dallas and he's going to be growing as well with this group of young players that... He's only going to get better over these next couple of years. At 22 years of age, he still has so much room to grow. And the, and the fact that he's showing uh, this much improvement in one season is kind of scary. And I really love this guy. I'm a big Thomas Harley believer. And uh, I can't wait to see what he can do in the playoffs for this Dallas Stars team. I think this is going to be a guy in the playoffs that kind of breaks out. And everybody kind of takes notice of here. And I'm really excited for that. But we do have another guy we're going to talk about here. And that is obviously Miro Heiskanen. And this guy, I mean, you look at how many seasons he's been playing. What is that? Six seasons. This guy is still 24. I can't believe that. When I seen that when I was doing my research for this video, I couldn't believe that this guy was only 24 years of age. It just seems like he's been in the league for so long. At 68 games so far this season, he has 43 assists. 8 goals, 51 points. I mean, Miro Heiskanen, obviously everybody knows he's such a great offensive defenseman. And with 43 assists this year from the blue line, it really shows how much he has improved his game as well over this season, playing with this young group of guys. And I'm a big Miro Heiskanen believer. I still can't believe that this guy's only 24. It kind of blows my mind that he's 24 and he's been playing six seasons in the NHL. But 
Uh, I'm a big believer in this whole blue line for the Dallas Stars. The pickup of Chris Tanev, the stellar play of Thomas Harley, Miro Heiskanen, and even Ryan Suter has been playing great defensively for this team. And you have Essel Lindell as well, a guy who's been playing phenomenal as well. And it all comes to Miro Heiskanen, a guy who we all know can produce from the blue line, produce that uh, great uh, point totals from back there. He's also solid in his own end. He's not going to give up very many defensive breakdowns, but he contributes a lot on the offensive side, which everybody takes notice. Big fan of Miro Hutchkin and kind of the clue up this segment all these young studs that we talked about are 24 or younger so that means these guys are just going to like I keep saying they're going to grow with this team and the fact that they're second in the league this year with three of these guys being 22 and under imagine the kind of beast that Dallas the Dallas Stars are going to be in a couple of years they're going to be a major problem for a lot of teams going into the playoffs over these coming years including this season but there is another reason of why they're a big problem, and you guys have probably guessed it, and that is stellar goaltending. Obviously, Jake Ottinger has really been in a phenomenal goaltender for this Dallas Stars team over these last uh, uh, like two or three seasons. He's been really good, and this year, I mean, his numbers have been a little bit down, but he has been great as well. And if we just take a look at Otter here, I mean, 903 save percentage this season with. With 33 wins, only 13 losses in 51 games played. This guy's logging a lot of games. He's playing well in all of these games. And as well right now, he is on a eight-game heater. When Otter is between the pipes, this team is 8-0 right now. They're on an eight-game win streak with him putting two shutouts up over these last uh, over these last uh, eight games. So what does that mean? Why are we talking about Otter? We obviously know he's so good. But if this guy is that hot right now on an eight-game win streak, two shutouts uh, in those last eight games, imagine what this guy is going to turn into in the playoffs. This guy is going to be a, a beast for this team. And this is he is really going to, I'm not going to say carry, but he is going to contribute to so much success for the Dallas Stars in this upcoming playoffs. And to think that this guy is only 25 years of age as well, is unreal to think about because I mean at 25 I mean goaltenders are kind of getting into their prime then so he's been playing well uh, for uh, like I said uh, as uh, for a, uh, a couple of seasons now and the fact that he's only 25 and the fact that like I said all these young guys are only 24 and younger he's 25 they're all going to grow with this team and I think it starts this year and I think they definitely come out of the West with the way that Jake Ottinger is playing right now I cannot see him dropping a series with two shutouts in his last eight games how can you argue against me that he is going to drop four games out of seven? I don't think you can because this guy is just such a phenomenal goaltender. When you watch this guy, if you haven't watched Jake Ottinger, I really want you to tune into the next Dallas Stars game that he is starting in because this guy is something special and I'm a big Otter believer. This is kind of reminds me I mean this might be a big take but he reminds me of a Carey Price when I'm talking when I'm watching him I mean I'm a Montreal fan as most of you guys know and the what I see in Jake Ottinger I have seen in Carey Price the numbers might not be the same as Carey Price but the way he carries himself in the net is just like Carey Price and I'm really high on this guy and I believe that Jake Ottinger is going to make this team a Western Conference champion you can rip me apart in the comment section below, Oilers fans, Canucks fans, I don't care. I'm a Dallas Stars a bandwagoner for this playoffs. I mean, Montreal's out, I gotta cheer for somebody, so may as well go for the Dallas Stars. I love this team, I love what they've done with this young core that's kind of developed and really helped this team be one of the best in the NHL. And there is one more reason that I do want to uh, break down here, and that is uh, the great power play they have. And obviously, uh, as we all know, um, you know, the great power play they have right now, uh, you know, tw they're at, what, tied for fifth in the league for power play percentage with 24.6 power play uh, percentage, which is great. When you look at this power play, man, I mean, just look at it. You got Pavelski. Hins, Jamie Benn, Miro Heiskanen, Jason Robertson. I mean, that's an amazing 
first power play unit, but then you look at the second power play unit. You have Wyatt Johnson, who is the top goal scorer of the team. Matt Duchesne, a guy who's been a phenomenal NHL player. Mason Merchman, who has been playing great for this team. Thomas Harley, a guy who I talked about earlier, who was an amazing, you know, kind of two-way offensive defenseman. And they have Tyler Sagan as well, another vet who has been playing great for this team. And another reason this team is so good, you might have seen a sneak peek of it, and that is because of how good their veterans ha have been playing. And if you look at, at Joe Pavelski, I mean, this guy's an ageless wonder. At 66 points, 79 games played, 27 goals, 39 assists, this guy just parks himself in front of the net, and he's tipping them in. He's getting those greasy ones in front of the net, and that's how he's been contributing with this team. Rupe Hints, I didn't include him in the young studs. He is 27. I would consider him a, a bit of an older guy than, the, than a young stud. So, I mean, he's been phenomenal for them this, this year as well. 65 points, 30 goals, 35 assists and you know Duchesne like I talked about he's kind of an ageless wonder as well 64 points 25 goals 39 Jamie Benn 59 points 21 goals 38 assists Tyler Sagan 25 goals 27 assists for 52 points and the list goes on and on when you're talking about all these veterans here on uh, the Dallas Stars and these guys are, these are going to be the guys who kind of get these young guys under their belt here coming this playoff and say hey this is what we need to do we were there we didn't win it but this is how we are going to win it this year. And with a lot of help from younger guys and the consistent play from these veteran guys and the stellar goaltending from Jake Ottinger, I really don't see a world where this Dallas Stars team doesn't come out of the West. But I want to hear from you guys down below in the comment section. Let me know down below, am I out to lunch here? Do you think I, uh, you know, I'm completely wrong here? Or are you in agreement with me? Do you think that this Dallas Stars team is a problem and that every West team needs to watch out for this team in the playoffs? Let me know down below in the comment section. We're going to get in everybody's favorite topic here, uh, which is comment of the day. And the comment of the day today goes to uh, Josh. Uh, he says, great to see you in your new gig, Mark. And yes, if you caught our uh, earlier video uh, yesterday, we put out uh, Mark Griffiths made his debut here on Hattrick HQ. Just want to give a huge shout out, shout out to Mark for coming on board and being a part of Hattrick HQ with myself and the other Mark, Mark Pye. I really appreciate it. Uh, it is great to see him in his new gig. This guy has so much knowledge about hockey and he's really going to help uh, out the channel in many ways that you guys don't already know. And I'm really excited to bring Mark on. I just want to give him a shout out here on Comment of the Day. But if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, you know, we're on the road for 3,500 subscribers. So if you enjoy the NHL, you enjoy hockey, you enjoy hearing somebody make some bold predictions, make sure down below and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to check out the earlier video that Mark Griffiths did, it'll be popping up on your screen right now. Make sure to go check that one out and give him some love here on the channel. But uh, I've been your host, KC. We'll catch you in the next one.